We want to welcome to the studio right now, Chris Gibson. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So you are the co-founder and CEO of Recursion, which deals a lot with drug discovery. That's right. I think your background is interesting. I understand you left medical school to focus on building recursion. So tell me how that interest got peaked and about that process. That's right. I was doing an MD PhD here at the University of Utah, just right up the street, uh, and ultimately worked on a project using traditional tools that failed. We were trying to find a new medicine for a rare genetic disease and we failed. And in that failure, we saw an opportunity to take a totally different approach and use machine learning models to help us see signal we had missed before. And ultimately that worked well enough that we now have a drug in late stage of phase two trials out of that project uh, and a whole bunch more drugs on the way. And we've been building that idea into a company that we think represents a new generation of tech bio companies. Oh, wow, interesting. So I know the keynote address you gave on Monday was about the shift from biotech to tech bio. Explain the difference there and what that process is like. So the field of biotech and biopharma have been using technology for decades. But there's a difference when technology is your core strength versus when it's just a tool that you use. And tech bio is a new generation of companies who are leveraging tools like machine learning and AI at their core. It's fundamental to what we do. We're essentially digitally native. And so I think there's a shift happening now, both biotech companies becoming tech bio companies and a new generation of companies growing as startups into what I think the rest of the industry will look like a decade from now. So you have a lot of experience with this. So I wanna know from your perspective, how do you think AI and machine learning has really impacted the field of drug discovery? Well, I think we're at the early innings. You know, it takes 10 or 15 years to discover and develop a medicine. Um, the earliest companies in this space are just about 10 years old. So we're about to start finding out how we're doing. But in terms of getting medicines to the clinic, companies like ours are doing it at about half the time and half the cost. And ultimately, the biggest lever we can pull is increasing the probability of success. If we can go from 90% failure rate in the clinic to even 80% failure rate in the clinic by leveraging these tools, we're gonna to make an incredible impact in the lives of patients. What advice would you have for young professionals, even entrepreneurs who are interested in contributing to this field? I think no matter what you're doing, you have to surround yourself with incredible mentors. If you do that, you're gonna see things that you otherwise would have missed, and I think you're gonna put yourself in a much, much better position. And I love how SOT has so many opportunities to get involved with that. Absolutely. On Monday, after the plenary, I was able to sit down with a bunch of grad students and postdocs and talk about all of the questions that they're facing at this point in their career. It's phenomenal. Thanks so much for your Thank time, you. Chris.